okay so continuing with our part 2 of data structures here i have last class we learned about the classification of data structures i told you they are divided into primitive and non primitive data structures primitive data structures are your machine level instructions and non primitive data structures are your complex data structures which are derived from the primitive data structures and non primitive data structures are divided as arrays lists and files arrays are one dimensional two dimensional and multi dimensional and lists are again divided into linear and non linear data structures linear data structures are your stacks queues and linked lists and non linear data structures are your trees and graphs so in detail i have explained in the previous video so today we going to learn about the operations on data structures what are operations operations are what are operations yes immediately you may think about doctor and operation isn't it so what does a doctor do the doctor will do an operation and you cure no so here also we are going to do some work on the data structures okay we are going to see that our data structures is going to do some work for us okay so those are known as operations yes so today's topic is operations on data structures so how we are going to use our data structures in a better way okay so the various operations that can be performed on a primitive data structure see i told you they are machine level isn't it machine instructions machine dependent instructions are known as primitive data structures what are the operations on primitive data st uh, structures you can create okay create then we have destroy yes and then we have select and the fourth operation that we can do on primitive data structure is update it's very easy please understand the name itself is telling you what we can do isn't it you have heard of uh, brahma vishnu maheshwara trinity gods in hindu mythology it is that brahma is the creator vishnu is the sustainer and uh, shiva is the destroyer so here sustainer is your select and update okay but you should understand these are the data structures that is available for primitive data structures so if you have create destroy select and update okay so in the exam they may ask you for one mark two mark or three marks also uh, what are the operations on primitive data structures then you should write it like this and explain it also okay here i'll briefly write it but you, if you just write that much also it is enough so what is create create the word itself says you are going to create a new data structure when you create a new data structure that particular operation is known as create is this clear for example i will write int x so i have created a data structure isn't it int is available for you already i have given one variable name any variable name you want you can give that is known as create data structure okay the next one is to delete a data structure delete means what to remove a variable from the memory destroy means to remove the variable from memory space so when you want to remove the variable from the memory space that is known as destroy this is clear when you want to remove destroy means what destruction you want to remove it so when you remove the variable from the memory space it is known as destroy okay so when you want to remove a uh, object from the memory space okay you can use the delete operator and remove it so that is called destroy okay the next operator the next operation that we can do is select okay select means what is selection common word isn't it select books we will say or select the dress that you like so select means you are choosing something isn't it so here also select means that is used by the programmers to access the data within the data structure that's what select means 
So if you if a user wants to uh, let us say that uh, he wants to select some particular uh, data, that operation is known as select. Okay, and the last one is known as update. Update means the word update, updation. Always remember it means change. Okay, the word update means change. So when you want to change some information, okay. Want to change some data in the then we are going to say update. For example, I had declared one variable in x. Now I am giving the variable value x is equal to 10. Now later I say x is equal to 20. So I have changed the value of x to from 10 to 20. So I have done an update operation. This is clear. So this is the operations on primitive data structures. It's very important. Okay. Create is you are creating a new data structure. Destroy is you are removing the space of the variable or object from the memory space. Select is you are going to access some value from the using the data structures. And update means to change the value. Okay. So these are the operations on primitive data structures. So I will just write it here. EDS is what? Create destroy, select and update. Now, we will go to the uh, second type that is our non-primitive data structures. So, in non-primitive data structures, we have the arrays, stacks, queues, isn't it? All these are the non-primitive data structures. The linear data structures we were talking about. So, here we will now talk about Operations on linear data structures. So that's what is there in your syllabus. Non-linear, we are just going to see the uh, definitions of trees and graphs. So the next important thing that we are going to talk about is operations on linear data structure. See, this was also as a five mark question in your exam. It's important. Operations on linear data structure. What are the operations on linear data structure? The first operation is known as traversal. Second one is known as insertion. Third is known as deletion. The fourth one is known as searching. The fifth is your sorting and your sixth is known as merging. So this is also an important question. Please pay attention. So what are the operations on linear data structures? They may ask you. What are the operations on arrays? Okay. Either of it if you ask you have to write this. Okay. For both the same answers. Traversal, insertion, deletion, Searching, sorting and merging. Normal English it is. Just you write one sentence you get 5 marks. Okay, for each of it you need to explain but Traversal means what? Traversal means to visit each and every element in the data structure. To visit each and every element in the data structure is known as traverse. Is it clear? Traversal means to visit each and every element in the data structure is known as traversing. Traversing of an array. Okay. Insertion. The word itself is telling. Insertion means what? You are going to add a new data element. So addition of new data element is known as what? Insertion. Is it clear? What is deletion? I told you now only for this also deletion. Deletion is what? Removal of a data element of an element. Removal of element is known as deletion. Searching. We are all searching everything now. All our life we are searching. Isn't it? So searching. Searching is to what? To search for a location of the data. So to locate an, uh, locate an element in a data structure. 
that is known as searching what is sorting we want to sort our books sort clothes everything what are we doing we are arranging isn't it we are reordering things this was like this i will change it like that that is sorting so here also what is sorting sorting is nothing but arranging the elements in some order that is called as sorting okay in some order and what is merging merging means to join okay to make it to bring it together so the process of combining the data structures as one single data structures okay combining data structures into a single data structure is known as merge you understand this this is important okay it's a five mark question so today we learned the operations on primitive data structures and on linear data structures what are the operations on primitive data structures on primitive data structures we learned about create destroy okay update and select and what is the operations on linear data structure we have traversal which is visiting each and every element in the data structure insertion addition of new element in the data structure deletion removal of the element searching to locate an element sorting arranging the element and merging is to combine the data structure into a single data uh, element okay data structure hope you understood this video we will continue with the rest of the uh, lesson in the next video series we will talk about arrays okay the different types of arrays the memory locations the representation of one dimensional array in our next video series thank you